First of all, I wanted to show you my toolbox. And as you can see, this is my jelly pig. I'm not very careful with it and it's working just fine. Uh, then we have a brayer to roll on the paint. And I have an aluminum tin container for my brayer. So that is that. And then I have some craft paints. I got these at Michael's Summit Joann's and they work really well. So the Apple Barrel brand um, folk art, just normal craft paint, anything will work. So those are my paints um, and I have some stamps. doilies, bubble wrap. I love working with bubble wrap. It is super awesome and I have both sizes, small and slightly larger. Then this is a stamp that I made out of a felt coaster and I just stuck it onto some corrugated cardboard. Then I have stencils. Some more stamps that I made. This is one using grommets, flower shaped grommets. Then this is a word stamp that says create. Some stamps made using buttons. And this is a piece of card that I lay on my jelly plate to get a perfectly shaped rectangular print. I use these a lot for invitations. Then I use plastic mesh, some dollar store finds. This is a silicone spatula and it works really well on the jelly plate and leaves a wonderful texture. And these are some texture tools that I found at Walmart, very inexpensive. Uh, it's called the Master of the Arts line and they also had these texture brushes so I still have to try those. Then these are a few texture tools that I made myself. Again, this is something from the dollar store and I just cut out the ends. And I also used the packaging to make something similar to these. And so I can cut out any pattern that I like. What else do I have? Let's see. Okay, so I'm always on the lookout for cool plastic packaging. This is one that looks like a call out. And I love using that on my brain. Then there are some texture blades that I've made. This is one that I have made. This is another one. Some long stamps. I love using those, they look super awesome. And then I have some masks and stencils. So let me just pull those out. I sometimes use paper masks, which is what these are, and I got these at the dollar store. But I also like using store-bought masks because they have some very interesting shapes going on. So that is about it. That's, that's what I have in my toolbox. And of course I have some cards, some paper to print on, um, some dictionary pages so that I can print on those as well. But that is pretty much it. This is a mask that I made myself using a silhouette and some plastic packaging. This is a stencil that I did myself. So as you can see, you can go to the store or you can first try and make your own tools and then see um, what else you do need. This is a super green craft. I love that. I can use so many things that I find around the house uh, to make my jelly prints. So that was a peek into my toolbox. 
and at the end of chapter 5 I'll actually be showing you some of my favorite techniques and I wanted to put them on video because it's very hard to explain this entire process in text and I've tried to do that but I wanted you to have some videos to look at too. So I'll see you in chapter 5.